Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to enable Copilot on Windows 10. Microsoft is officially planning to bring Copilot to Windows 10 and you can enable it right now. So these steps apply to access the chatbot before it becomes available to everyone. As a result, this may or may not work for everyone. Also, these instructions involve making changes in the registry. So it is assumed that you know what you're doing and you have created a backup before proceeding as making system changes can cause problems on your computer. With all that out of the way, let's dive into the steps. The first step is to update Windows 10 to the latest update available through the release preview channel from the Windows Insider program. And in this case, you need to have the update KV5032278 that brings the build number to 19.045 point three seven five four and to do that you need to enroll your computer into the windows insider program that is outside of the scope for this tutorial but the only thing you need to do is to go to the settings app and then on updated security go to the windows insider program which is just going to show you right here and i already have it on the release preview but if your computer is not enrolled in the insider program you need to click the get started button and then you need to link your Microsoft account and then sign in with your account and then just pick the release preview channel. Just make sure that, just make sure to understand that when using the insider preview channel, you just need to understand that what, you just need to understand that using the Windows Insider program, you're going to get bits from Windows 10 that might not be super stable, so you might encounter some issues. It is always best to use these instructions on a spare computer or a virtual machine. Then you just need to confirm and then restart the computer. After restarting the computer, you will need to open the settings app again, and then from update and security, and then on Windows update, we're just going to click the check for updates button and that will trigger and download the latest update that we need to have in the computer in order to enable Copilot. I already have it installed on, the, on this computer. As you can see, I have the KV532278 update installed. And once you do that, you might need to restart the computer again. And now the next step is to make sure that we have the latest update for Microsoft Edge. And to do that, we're going to open start and look for edge. And the quickest way to get to the page to update the browser is to go to the help and feedback. And then we just select the about Microsoft Edge option. And here the system is going to check automatically. And if you have the latest update, nothing is going to happen. If you have an update available, you just need to click the restart button to complete the installation of the update. Now, since the Copilot is still not officially available. We're going to need a third party tool in order to enable the feature on the computer. And to do that, we're going to download the Vive tool, which you can download from this GitHub page from here, which is going to select the latest version. And then we're going to save it into the computer. Now we're going to open the file and then we're going to extract the contents Once the contents has been extracted, just remember the path. I have it already extracted on the C drive. So now I'm going to open command prompt or the Windows terminal, whatever is that you like to use on Windows 10 to run commands. But in my case, I'm just going to run the terminal preview and I'm going to right click and select the run as administrator option. And in here, I'm just going to navigate to the folder that includes the extracted files for the Vive tool. In my case, the folder is inside of the C drive. So I just go like this, CD space and the path. In this case, this is the name of the folder. And now I'm into the application folder. We can see that we have all the files right there. And in here, in order to enable the feature, we're going to use this command. And these are the IDs that we need to use to update the Copilot on Windows 10 as an early preview. Then just press enter. 
and now you're gonna need to restart the computer. Now, when you restart from the computer, you might see that Copilot is already on the bottom right corner and you can start using it. If you don't see it, see if you can right click on the taskbar and see if you see the option show Copilot preview button. And if you see that, choose that option. As you can see, we can see it right here. Now, if the feature is still not available on your computer, you're going to need to edit the registry. And to do that, we're gonna open start and look for registry. And then we're gonna open the app. I already had it open and I was already looking into the key that we need to pay attention to. And that will be the H key current user software Microsoft Windows shell copilot bean chat. Instead of that path, we're going to find a D word called is user eligible. And in here, we're going to double click the D word and you're going to set it from zero to one. Once you've done that, just click OK, close the registry and restart the computer. Once you restart the computer, you should now see Copilot on the bottom right corner of the taskbar. Again, if you don't see it, right click the taskbar and you should be able to see this show copilot preview button option to enable the feature on your computer. And then you can just click the button and that will open the preview version of copilot on your Windows 10 computer. And from here, you can just start using the chatbot in the same way that it works on Windows 11. Digging into the settings app, I couldn't find any trace of any settings for Copilot. I also checked the taskbar settings page and I haven't found anything that you can turn on and off from here. So basically, and the only place that you're going to find Copilot, is right here on the right click context menu for the taskbar. At the time of this recording, Copilot kind of works in the same way as the version of the AI on Windows 11, but this is still a work in progress. Uh, for example, one thing I notice is when you type a question and you close Copilot and then you launch it again, it will continue on that answer and it will not refresh the connection. And if that happens, you need to click this button right here to refresh. And also to answer a query, it takes longer at least that's the way I see it compared to Windows 11. Let me just ask what's Windows 10 on Copilot and then you're going to see how long it takes to get the actual answer. Even the process to show the results takes longer than on Windows 11. Also, let's say let's close the assistant and then it's gonna open it again. And as you can see, it didn't refresh and it's still answering the question. So in this case, you just need to click the refresh button to start with a clean interface to ask another question. One thing I noticed is that you might also be able to access plugins, which is a way to allow third-party services to connect with Copilot. Also, at least in my installation, you can use Copilot to change system settings in the same way that you can do on Windows 11. For example, let's ask to enable dark mode. And now we can see that the assistant will not be able to change the setting automatically and it won't give us an option to turn that on from within the experience. At least at the time of this recording, it is unclear if Windows 10 users will be able to use the Assistant to change system settings or take other actions on Windows 10, just a launching application or doing some different tasks. But at least you will be able to ask questions and get answers using natural language. And that is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.